Welcome back team, and today we're doing a blue level workout, which is an intermediate level. So if you've been doing really well at the green ones, welcome in. If you've been doing the purple ones, this is a really, really nice in-between. One of those maintenance type workouts that you can do for 80% of your week, whilst the other 20% is for the super high intensity stuff. Now, if you'd like to skip straight to the workout, check the description below. There's a chapter marker for the workout itself. Otherwise, stick around with me. I'm gonna talk through the movements and show you a little bit of form for each of these so you're ready to go when the timer flicks over. So the first movement we have today is the squat thrust. This is also known as a half burpee. Some people call it a full burpee, but we're just gonna call it a squat thrust so that we're not actually uh, offending anyone in particular. So what we do with this one, feet about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna squat down as far as you can. The hands are gonna go onto the floor. And then from here, you're gonna thrust those legs back. You're gonna thrust the legs back in, have the feet flat on the floor after you bring the feet up and then standing up, resuming the squat. So we're doing a squat and we're splitting it in half by thrusting the legs out in the middle. Now, the things you wanna to, want to remember, things you wanna watch when you're doing this one, keep the heels flat on the floor. With the thrust out, you wanna make sure that you're ending up in a plank. So don't end up in a cobra, don't end up in a pike, it's in a plank. Bring the knees back up to the chest and then resume the squat there. So that's the first movement. Second movement is a side lunge. So we're gonna be doing alternating side lunges here. You want space on the both left and right hand side of yourself. Starting like a matchstick feet together, you're gonna to take a step to the right hand side. Left leg's gonna remain straight, both feet flat on the floor like this, both heels flat on the floor, bending the right leg, torso upright, and then using all the power in the, in the quads from the, and the glutes on the right hand side to push yourself back to the middle. Now, to the left and pushing up. Things to note is that this leg remains straight, torso remains upright, and you're moving in a straight line. We're not going full, we're not going back, left and right with that one, okay? So go to the depth that you can get to. You might find that if you haven't done those before, there's gonna be a, a, a sticking point, a point of no return, where if you go down too low, oh, I don't have the strength to get up, just make sure you realize where that point is and work to just above that so you can return to the middle there. Cool, got that? Next is the floor wiper. So we're gonna lay down on the floor. This one, you can do two variations. The first variation of this is bent legs. So you see hands are gonna go out to the sides, bend at the knees, and we're gonna pretend we're a big old windscreen wiper. You know, rotate left, rotate right, and using the core, you're gonna keep your shoulder blades flat on the floor, rotating in the middle here. The next variation of this is actually to have straight legs. So with straight legs, you need a lot more power and control with your oblique muscles to try and keep yourself from rotating the upper body there. So always, always, always start with the, uh, start with the bent knees with that variation. And then if you feel like you've got the energy, the gusto, the strength, straighten those legs out. Warnham team, how you going? Um, after our floor wipers, we've got squat uppercuts. So this one is a, is a bit of a bit of a punchy one designed to get your heart rate up. You're gonna squat down as low as you can. Once you get to the top of the squat, uppercut, <laughs> uppercut. So alternating left and right. You see here with the uppercut, a couple of things. With the squat, I want you to keep your heels flat on the floor. As you rise up for the uppercut, you see we're gonna give it some shoulder and some hip. So you see the, the side that I'm punching with, I'm gonna use the, the hip to actually point the toe and try and get some, some extra momentum into that punch there. So that's the, that's the time when your heel comes off the floor is when you're throwing that punch there. But while you're squatting, heels flat on the floor, please. Cool. After squat uppercuts, we've got our invisible skip rope. Doesn't need too much explanation. Just pretend you've got a skip rope in your hands and you're gonna skip like that. So make sure you're, you're jumping high enough that if you had a real rope, you've got enough height to clear that. So after our skip ropes, we're going planks to push-ups, um, known by a few different variations, also known as commandos. Um, but what you're gonna do is basically start off in a plank, keeping your hips and your shoulders as flat as possible, and one hand at a time into push-up. So down to plank, up to push-up. And see how I'm alternating the hands that, that push me up first. So we're gonna go right, left, right, left, and then left, right, left, right, and then repeat that, okay? So important part with this one, trying to make sure that your hips and your shoulders remain flat. You've got that imaginary bucket of water on your back throughout the whole movement, okay? After planks to push-ups, we've got broad jump bear walks. So this is one where you're gonna want 
a little bit of space in front of you because a broad jump is basically jumping over a creek, jumping over a, a stream, okay? So you're gonna jump, big jump, land nice and low in a squat, hands on the floor, and then broad jump, bear walk. So we're gonna bear walk back to the start here. From the start, deep in this squat, full extension, landing deep in the squat, hands on the floor, and then bear walk backwards. So a bear walk is also using that imaginary bucket of water. It's on your back. We're not letting the hips and the shoulders rotate too much. Big breathing into the core, lots of strength in the shoulders and the, and the core in that one. So after bear, broad jump bear walks, we've got fast feet. It's picking a spot, keeping on that spot, and moving your feet as fast as possible, which will be assisted by moving your hands fast as well. Pure cardio, that movement, designed to get your heart rate really, really pumping on that one. So after fast feet, we've got a little bit more of a complex. Kick sits. <clears throat> Who remembers kick sits? If you've done plenty of our purple workouts, you'll know the kick sits. So we're gonna get into the bear position or the panther position. Hands on the floor, knees and toes on the floor. Lift the knees up, so now we're floating. You're kind of floating the knees off the floor about two inches. Um, you've got 90 degrees in the legs, 90 degrees in the hips and the thighs. We're gonna take our left leg, kick it, and sit on the hip. So yeah, it's a straight line, straight leg, sitting on the hip, hands flat on the floor, bring it back to the middle, and then kicking and sitting. That's why it's called a kick sit. I'm gonna kick across, straight leg, sit on the hip, and then kick through and across. And notice how each time I go past that middle position, you return to that panther bear slash position in the middle there. Cool. After kick sits, it's the humble push up. It's one of the most basic human push movements. Kick sits, hate them. <laughs> Basic positioning, we've got hands on the floor, underneath the shoulders. They can be wider if you like, and if you are experiencing wrist pain, you can play with the angle at which your hands are, whether they are wider or in closer. But straight leg plank. At this stage of the game, if you're in this blue workout, I would like you to attempt full push-ups. If you're still having a bit of trouble with the, the strength required for a full push-up, then bend the knees, heels towards your butt, and change your leverage so you can get a full range of motion. So each of these, these rounds, each of these repetitions that we're going through, make sure you've, you're doing the, the variation of the movement that you can see through right to the end of that round, if that makes sense. So if you need to do knee push-ups, then do knee push-ups, no stress. After our push-ups is the last movement of the whole workout, the horse stance punches. Now a horse stance is brutal enough, sitting on an invisible horse, popping that squat and holding this. From here, we're now gonna throw punches with the hands. So using a lot of glutes, using a lot of quads, keeping your core upright, but then also throwing hands, alternating punches in front of you as fast as you can. Isometric hold plus cardio of the punches. Great workout. So now put your watches into, into cardio mode. Heart rate straps on, pressing go, and we're gonna kick this off. I'm hoping the beeps aren't too loud. We had some problems with the beeps in that last recording, so hopefully it's all good now. We've got 14 seconds, we're gonna start off with squat thrusts. So please, I'm gonna turn the music up just a little bit. There we go, there we go. <clears throat> Two, one, down, squat and thrust. So this is an amazing warm up movement. It's not as intense or as high impact as a full burpee but it's gonna get you, your quads, your glutes, your core, even your shoulders working. It requires some power to keep your body in a plank up here. So build a rhythm, make sure that's matching, or it's supported by, I should say, your breathing. 30 seconds to shake that off, good, 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 good. How are we going, chat? Sorry I ignored a lot of you through that tutorial, but you know how it operates with these, uh, with these YouTube recordings. So YouTube, if you're watching me, welcome back in. Thanks for watching the videos there. Do appreciate it when you can like and subscribe, but also appreciate it when you share it to your friends, because anyone that can use this stuff at home. Side lunges, okay, we've got three seconds. Starting as that matchstick, I'm gonna go right in the middle, left in the middle. So you see what I'm doing with these lunges as well. I'm actually trying to have enough power with each step so that it carries through to the next rep. So you see it's 
It's not just one rep, one rep, one rep. I'm trying to build a flow so that it kind of carries from one rep to the next. It's a change of momentum. It's a smooth step. And then we finish. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. After this, we've got the floor wipers. You can use a mat if you like with this one. I might grab a mat because I'll probably need it for the, the planks to push ups. So just for your um, just for your back, you can put this down. And also I might just move the, the microphone positioning. Let me know if the microphone crackles a bit, live chat. So here we go. I'm gonna start off with the bent knee variations. So across and see notice with this as well, what I'm trying to do oops, is actually keep my shoulder blades both down on the floor. See how my head is pointed straight up? Shoulder blades both flat on the floor. My hips are rotating. So I end up being on my, my left hip and then on my right hip and then back in the middle there. There we go, cool. <clears throat> How'd that feel? That's not too bad for me. I feel like I can go to the, to the, the straight legs ones, but everyone's gonna be different with that. Everyone's gonna have a different tolerance, a different threshold. So move moved out of the way. We've got the squat uppercuts to do. So I haven't got a lot of time to rest. Make sure you're shaking it out, making sure you grab a drink if you need it. Feet about a little wider than shoulder width because we're gonna squat and then throw that hand up. Punch up high. Try and aim for something a little bit higher than your own head. And keep the other hand by your face, okay? So down low, up high. We're gonna go to the two extremes here, as low as you can, then up as high as you can. Keep going, keep going. Seven seconds, down and up. Good, shake it off, nice. Skip rope next. Now the intensity of the skip rope, completely up to you. You can go easy, you can go hard with this. Um, depends on what your heart rate's doing right now and where you'd like it to be. I'm gonna try and keep it in the green today. And then throughout the intervals, the resting intervals, try and bring it down as low as I can just by walking, just by breathing, and not using too much effort between reps. Let's go. Now, trying to keep a nice, soft bounce in my knees and in my ankles, because your calves and your quads are gonna be the shock absorbers for your body here. You shouldn't feel like this is jarring in your spine or your head. If you feel like any of those movements are causing a an undue amount of impact or pressure on spine, head, brain, any of that sort of stuff. I want you to stop and rethink your form because there could be something to do with the way that you're landing. With a skip rope, your heels shouldn't touch the floor. Um, your, he your heels should rarely touch the floor, I should say. For just standard skip rope, you should be mostly on the, the mid and the balls of your feet there. Um, your heels won't touch a lot unless you're doing um, crazy sort of dance moves or single foot kind of stuff. All right, playing some push-ups. I'm gonna grab this mat. Using the mat for this one. Starting off nice and slow with this. Ooh, thanks for the follow. On the plank, squeezing the butt, squeezing the quads. Up on the hands, down to the plank. Up into the hands, down to the plank. Now try and build a tempo. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. Try not to let it break down into two separate poses. You're going from one to the other with a rhythm. Two, three, four. Good. Good, good, good. And as you become a bit stronger with that, as you become a little bit better, you're gonna find that that, that pace picks up. Now don't let the, the speed increase with your, your planks to push-ups until you can keep that bucket of water on your back nice and nice and stable. If you're rotating and twisting while you're doing that one, slow it down. Fight for control. Slow and smooth is much better than fast and frantic with this stuff. Okay, broad jump bear walks. I've got about two meters in front of me. Deep squat, jump, landing in a deep squat. Hands down, bear walk back. So the bear walk is another one that I want it to be smooth and controlled as opposed to, to crazy and frantic. Big jump, landing, 
smooth and controlled bear walk. Bucket of water on the back. Big old jump. And bear walk back. Good. Keep rolling, team. Keep going. Nice. So I want you to see how far you can jump. If you've got the space for it, if you've got the room for it, see if you can go for one and a half meters, two meters, however much space you've got. So that's a good one to do outside. If you're taking your phone outdoors to do a little outdoor workout, really, really good one to work on outside. Okay, fast feet. See the broad jumps as well? You see how easy it is to actually get into the, the anaerobic zone with just a big, strong, powerful movement? Go fast feet. And if there's one thing that's gonna keep me in the orange zone, it's this fast feet. Let's go faster. Big deep breaths. Frog, I am frog, confirm. Three, two, one, good. There you go. So if you're interested in heart rates, if you're watching the heart rate, <laughs> don't croak, rub it, but don't croak. Um, you, do see, you do see that it takes a little bit of time for it to catch up, which is perfectly understandable because your body's gonna work with what it's got and then it's gonna start to send the signal out to the other parts of your body that help with respiration. So heart and lungs, okay? Here we go, kick sits, go. So there is a bit of a lag time between your body doing the movement and then the rest of your body doing what it needs to to support that movement, okay? And as you become healthier, as you become a little bit more adept at working out, you're gonna find that, that you can either start to consciously prep yourself for that. So that's a lot of the, um, a lot of the Wim Hof method is about consciously prepping your body for the trauma that's about to come to it. So alkalizing the, the blood by hyper breathing, etc. You can do that as part of a warm up before a workout too. Just get the blood pumping. Get your body pre-primed to go. Push-ups, here we go. A riveting workout. Hello. <laughs> Good one, Woody. Good one. Um, I've got to set up soundboards as well. I haven't done that. Um, soundboard. In the list to do. Okay. That's a good one. Let's get these horse stance punches in. All right. So I'm gonna pop down into the horse stance. So once you're solid here, once you've got your thighs parallel to the floor, heels flat on the ground, torso up, start punching. Not too fast to begin with, because this is a, this is a slightly different movement than what you do in your day-to-day -day life. I, I don't know many people that would do this on the daily. So just get your body used to it. That change of body mass, the, the center of gravity changes as you throw an arm out, especially if you're someone like Mikey with, I'd say, Mikey center of gravity is up here because of the arms, right? That's how I type. Brr, quirty, uh, keyboard. That's it. I got 60 seconds now, chat. 60 seconds to recover. Walk around, catch your breath, grab a drink. Just angry emails. Uh. <laughs> Here we go. Whew. So, that was round number one. We've got three rounds in total, and you see I'm trying to get the heart rate back down to the blue. Breathing into the belly, and out. 
Good. Feels good. Feels good. <clears throat> all right, round number two. So we've done all the movements now. If there are opportunities for you to increase the intensity that you, that you were at, go for it now. Squat thrust, hands down. <sighs> Make sure when you, when you kick these legs up, watch. So on the toes, and when the legs come back up, I'm landing flat footed. I'm trying my best to get my knees up, up to my shoulders, land like a frog, full squat. So they're kind of, they're kind of like sumo squats. <sighs> getting the feet up to the hands, getting the knees up to the shoulders, landing flat foot, and resuming that squat. Good. Side lunges. So again, just work on the coordination, work on that that movement, the change of momentum, a nice strong flow. It's a bit like on a rower. If any of you have used a rowing machine before, when you change direction from that pull to the drag, the pull to the drag, it, uh, you've got to change the momentum in a nice smooth motion, even though you're going in a diametrically oppo opposite direction. Okay, let's go. So one leg straight, both heels flat on the floor, torso upright, bend that knee. If you feel like, if you feel like your knee's going over your toes too far, then you're not taking a big enough step. Take a bigger step. You don't necessarily need your knees to go over your toes. If you can, whilst you're keeping your heel down, kudos to you, because that shows a very, very good ankle mobility. But if you find that you don't have the ankle mobility, to keep the, the foot flat on the floor, the heel flat on the floor, whilst doing a side lunge, then step out further. You don't have to go as deep because it's gonna be harder to get off the ground, but play around with that. Regulant, how are you going, mate? Here we go. So floor wipers, I'm gonna grab the mat, and I am gonna upgrade now to the, uh, the straight leg floor wipers. Here we go. Hands out to the sides. Straight leg, rolling across, and then bringing it back. <sighs> rolling, see how my shoulder blades, both shoulder blades are remaining flat on the floor, okay? So nice, easy descent. Don't let the feet just flop to the floor. <sighs> Strong core, up to the middle, and good work. How'd that feel? Did anyone else go up to the the straight leg ones with me. If you did, well done. If not, you've got one more round of this afterwards. So I'd encourage you to have a shot. Just see what you're up against. Know your enemy. So when you actually go to do it in battle, you think to yourself, it's not that bad. I've done this, I've done this plenty of times. It's not that bad. Okay, squat uppercuts. So down low, up high, bang. Point that toe. The hand is punching. Big old hip, big old shoulder. So you're rotating that hip and the shoulder forward to get that punch up. The squats, both heels flat on the floor. You'll try to join this round. There is no try. Do or do not, Ragulan. To quote Captain Picard of uh, Battlestar Galactica, do or do not. I just triggered so many nerds then. So many nerds. Yeah. Here we go. Skip rope. Invisible skip rope. <laughs> Indeed. May the force live long and prosper, Bernabé. Here we go. Faster, faster. Faster. Keep the heart rate up there. I want it to remain green. That's it. It's going from 137 to 138. Love it. <laughs> wow. Look, if the, if the workout doesn't get your heart rate up, my, uh, my butchering, of nerdisms will. You're welcome. Thanks to push-ups. Let's get these, get these mats out. 
Yeah. Seven seconds. Oh, that was quick, I've got time left. Three seconds rest. Go. Plank. We're gonna build that rhythm, remember? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Be a metronome. Keep the shoulders flat. Keep the hips flat. Seven more seconds. Good. Good. Tim Preston, yeah, you can do that. Definitely. Join in now, do one more afterwards. Or, or you can just join the audience now and uh, roll back through the VOD afterwards. Completely up to you, mate. Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay, broad jump bear walks. Remember, this is the one that gets that heart rate up without too many movements. It's just two things, All right? So let's go, deep squat, broad jump, big jump, land deep, kick those feet back, bear walk back to the start, deep squat, jump. So this teaches you both power, plyometrics, and also the range of motion in landing. If you can land in a deep squat, Again, you're using your legs like shock absorbers. It's not a big impact, we're not landing with straight legs. See how it's nice and, nice and quiet as well. My feet aren't slapping the floor. My feet are the first things to touch the floor, but as they touch, I start tensing everything from the ground up. The feet, the ankles, the knees, the hips, they all start tensing and then you land softly. It's the physics of crumple zones, friends. Crumple zones in cars, same deal. If you can increase the time it takes to go from a fast speed to a slow speed, the amount of force in your body is minimized. Fast feet, go. Airbags in crumple zones, all work on that Newton's law of motion. Force equals mass times acceleration. Hey, Benna, how you going? So if you can decrease the acceleration or deceleration, then you decrease the force on your joints. That's what you want to do. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, Bennett, you're in pain. How's the leg things? How's it all going? Ah, uh, have you started any physical therapy, Bennett? By the way, I know that it's, it's painfully recent, your injury. Okay, kicks it. So obviously, Benny, you're not gonna be doing any of this today. And look, that's, that's just a thing, all right? These workouts are written for hopefully people to be able to self-assess, self-evaluate, if they're able to do them. And if you can, good. If not, we can talk about things. <clears throat> Did you have a look at that knee pain workout, Benny, that was posted in chat the other day? You here for the advice? Yeah, no stress. All good. Uh, when you're in a better position in a couple of weeks, you try it out. Absolutely. For sure. Okay, after the kick sits, we have push ups to do. So, letting the, letting the breath come back. Feeling good. Okay, three, two, one, go. One more. Good, good, good. Lenny Sue, thanks for the follow. How you going? You posted the funny about my comment? Oh, oh yes. All right, horse stars punches. 
For those playing along at home, playing along on YouTube, this is the, the last movement of the second round. So, one more round after this. Get your breath back. Get the blood back into the quads because you're gonna need it. So sitting down on the invisible horse, maintaining the height. So you should have your hips at the same elevation as your knees. No lower, no higher for this one. Chest and torso as upright as you possibly can without falling backwards. Heels flat on the floor. And then from there, start working on throwing the punches. So all of those things before you start throwing punches, the punches add the icing on the cake because what it's doing, changing your center of gravity and forcing your heart and lungs to work harder. Good. 60 second break here, team. You know what you've got. You know every single movement because you've done them twice now. Yeah. So we're gonna go through that whole thing again for the last round. So this time, you know that this is the last round. You know that each time you do these movements, it's the last time today. So I'd like you to give everything. Just give it your all. Leave no fuel in the tank. Because I don't, I don't like to tell people to be ashamed about anything. But today, if today is your high intensity workout, if today is your high intensity workout, then you should feel ashamed if you leave any energy in the tank. That's the only time you should feel shame. So we have fun with it. We, we, it's a little bit of a joke, but I'd like you to encourage yourself to push harder than what you thought you could do. Let's go. Because you know what, there's always gonna be haters. There's always gonna be people, oh, but Jeff, it's, it's too much, it's too much. But honestly, if there's anyone at the beginner or even intermediate level of their, their fitness journey, sometimes you just don't know what your body's capable of until you have someone help you to push yourself. And then you realize, oh, well, actually, I can do a lot more than what I thought. And my actual limits are beyond this little homeostatic pain threshold, which my brain was telling me was my limit before. It's not a limit. It's a threshold, isn't it? I'm gonna burst through. Okay, we've got side lunges to do now. I keep telling yourself, Renata, you are. You are. Don't tell yourself that you're trying to get fit. Don't do that. It's, it's, it's a little language thing. Tell yourself, because I'm doing this workout, I am. I am getting fit. I'm not trying. There is no try. Chewbacca said that. No try. Just do. Even though you're far from it, look, athlete is subjective. I know, I know. You look at things like the Olympics. That's the, the absolute world class of world class things, right? See, it was C3PO, yeah, yeah, yeah. And C3PO said it like this. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Floor wipers. Go grab your mats. Go grab your mats. Now this hatred that you feel towards me for ruining your quotes. Channel that. Channel that anger. Just like the light side of the force. Channel, channel the anger and the light side into more reps. <sighs> Go. Straight legs if you can. Try not to squash your microphone though, Jeff. I'm just bending my arm on this side so I can hold the mic, but you should all at home be having both arms outstretched and big controlled sweeps of the leg there. Yes. You're doing it on a wooden floor. That's no stress. That's all good. The mat I find a lot of people like because it's a little bit softer. And if you find the, the wooden floor is, uh, is too hard, yeah, Tim, exactly. Grab a towel. I'm pretty sure most people have towels. If not, get a piece of toast. Um, get one big enough to support your lumbar, like this. Get a big toast. We are squat uppercuts now, let's go. So 
if you're sick of my stupid jokes, turn my voice off. The beauty of this stream is that you've got the timer up in the top left corner of your screen. All you need to do is keep watch of that and you too can get your workout in. As written by me, I am a trainer, I am qualified. So you can rest assured it's been put together with a little bit of forethought, not just something that someone slapped together on the internet. Skip ropes now. So remember what I said, this is a high intensity intervals. We're working hard, we're resting hard, working hard, resting hard. And during work, my heart rate peaks. Skip ropes. I want to try and keep it green or above with skip ropes. It doesn't mean that you have to have awful form. I'd like your forearms to be out about 45 degrees and in front of your body about 45 degrees. Because this is apparently, from my research, this is the optimum wrist position for efficient skip roping. Not like this, we're not, we're not trying to do big arm swings like this. It's down in front. Nice. By the way, I'm just gonna put it out there. I'm really digging my faster frame rate on the camera, faster shutter speed. There's like zero motion blur now. Sharp, it's like an action movie. Okay, planks to push-ups. Let's go, 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 go. It's clear, isn't it, Grace? I love it. I don't know why I didn't do it earlier. Oh, yeah, actually, I do know why. Because last time I did it with that old PC, it wasn't able to keep up with the data going through the, through the actual capture. But now it's actually clear. Listen to my beat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. I'm not pausing in between each one. You keep it rolling, keep it rolling, keep it rolling. You're a steam engine, you're a train. Yeah, Grace, cooking streams are gonna be so good. So good. Um, I actually swapped out the sticks of RAM in the other machine. It turns on perfectly. Um, I'm yet to stress test it. So look, we may actually have something we can throw together for cooking streams now. Potentially, Grace, potentially. Broad jumps, bear walks, let's go. So, down. Hands up. Look, in YouTube, leave a content uh, comment below, right? Leave a comment below if you'd like to see an FFP cooking stream. We could even put them onto YouTube's cooking episodes. Um, chat. How many of you would like to see a cook stream? Yeah. <sighs> would I hug my PC if, if, if it asks? If it asks, I would. <laughs> but no, no, it's not very nice to hug. Also, I wanna keep its temperature down. I'd like to keep it cooler. Okay, fast feet. Hey, B-foot, mate, how you going? Blue level today, intermediate level. Let's go. Go. So fast hands, fast, fast feet. Big deep breaths. I don't really need it just yet, but my body's gonna scream for it soon. Heart right up, heart right up, heart right up. Oh, that was hands up for cooking stream. Yeah, good, cool. Hey Jero, how you going? <laughs> Welcome back, cooking stream. <sighs> that was good, that felt nice. <sighs> good, 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 good. We're gonna kick sits now. <sighs> this last end of the, of the workout is rough. A lot of upper body required. There's the red heart rate by the way, love it. Fast feet, always super intense, isn't it? Go, kick it. Oh, 
It's tough. Breathe as you need to, but keep up going for that whole interval. Good. Two minutes, two minutes, team. Love it. 20 seconds, then we've got push ups. Super intense. Love it. No, you're not. Regular. You're living. Let's go. Push ups now. Push ups, push ups, push ups. Nice, strong core. Keep that butt smack bang in the middle of your ankles and your shoulders. Get those scapula pushed towards the floor. I want solid shoulders with this. Your spine is not sagging. If anything, your spine is going to be the last thing to sag with these. Protect your spine by bracing the core. Strong core muscles everywhere around the whole thing. You got this. Good. 27 seconds of rest. Take a drink. Towel off. Last movement, chat. Like I said, now is the time to just take that throttle off. Open up the butterfly clamp. Just boosh, boosh, boosh. That's the sound of all your fuel getting dumped into the engine. Go. Fastest. Fast, 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 fast. Big hold. Big punches. Reach as far as you can and do it as fast as you can. Keep your heels down. Flat thighs. So you want knees and knees and hips at the same height for 10 more seconds. Keep throwing, keep throwing. Five. Ah. Ah. Well done. Well done. Good work, team. Good on ya. Well bloody done, everyone. It's like I'm a DJ. It's like I'm a DJ with all these knobs and buttons in front of me. Well done. Excuse me while I catch my breath, okay? So for those of you playing along at home, YouTube, well done. That was an intermediate level. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, that was bloody hard. Good, good. It's meant to be hard. Um, the, the green, blues, and purples, it's, it's a really nice way of, of me classifying things just by cutting them into three slices, right? So if you found that you could do better than this. If you found that this blue level workout was middle of the road, check out the purple level workout. So the, the, the green, the blue, and the purple level workouts, they're all body weight workouts that require new, no equipment. Did have a question come in, do I have any exotic, any golds? Yes, I do, but that's where we start introducing some equipment. So we start introducing kettlebells, pull-up bars, barbells, those sorts of things. And so those are the those are the exotic workouts, which for a lot of people that are starting their fitness journey, I'm trying to make these workouts here as accessible as possible. Um, there are gonna be workouts where people do own a barbell and they'd like to know how to work a certain body part or rehab a certain injury. Um, that's cool, that, that's, that's perfect. Um, but again, the purpose of this channel, the whole point of it is to make fitness accessible, make it fun, make it something you can do every day to better your life. Um, and if you've got any questions, then I'm happy to answer. So until next time, we'll catch you on another YouTube video or live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash fit for purpose, Adelaide mornings. So that's somewhere between 6.30 a.m. and 7.30 a.m. Depends on how long I sleep, if I sleep through alarms. So we'll catch you next time. See ya.